we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, hi Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, this reading is going to be about the ex. It's going to be about the ex. It's going to be about you. Okay. So hopefully this provides you with a bit of clarity so you can make decisions, cuts, right? Decisions. So you go in and you make an incision, then you move away from you. You, you separate from you decide, right? So, um, let's get into it. Um, when I was meditating, what I got for you, Aquarius, was, um, hang on. Okay, there we go. Um, identify who you are connecting with, define their character, and then nothing they ever do or say will upset or surprise you. You also need to look at your birth chart. Okay. I got another, um... I got another, I like, like a vision in terms of uh, meditation, but I'm going to leave that for another reading because we're going to just kind of drill down on relationship here so that, you know, you can make decisions so your life can be better. I mean, if that's what you want, if you only want this person back, that's easy. Just go get them, you know, and deal with what you have, you know, just it is what it is. But if you want better, if you want your life to be better, you know, as a whole, then stay tuned so that you can make decisions best for you. And, um, then your life kind of falls in place. So we asked some significant questions. Um, what's going on in Aquarius relationship right now? This card immediately wanted to show itself. Will you just get back with me already? Jeez. Like, this is how somebody feels about you, Aquarius. That card says a lot because it says that maybe you've always come back. Maybe you've allowed them to come back. You've always um, accepted the apology or the half-assed apology, or you just accepted their bad behavior, their bad attitude, or vice versa. Cross-watcher, this could be you having accepted Aquarius in this way. So, you know, pick and choose where you belong. I want to talk to the Aquarius. If you're a cross watcher and it resonates the other way around, then just do that. Right. So w will you just get back with me already? This is somebody who I'm not doing any work. I'm not fixing myself. I'm not cleaning up. I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to be different. I'm not going to be higher consciousness and higher evolved. I don't care nothing about that. Will you just get back with me now? This is somebody who's saying, okay, let it rest. I, yes, I didn't call you for days on end. Yes. I missed your birthday. Yes. I missed your, your, um, you got a big award. I wasn't there for you. I didn't even congratulate you. Get over it. This is who I am. Will you just get back with me already? Jeez. Yes. I have other women. Yes. I have other men. It is what it is. 
Will you just get back with me already? Jeez. This is someone who's in the energy of you should just accept. Okay. Maybe because you have just accepted. Maybe because people in their life just accept. They just accept what this person gives. They don't ask for more. This person couldn't give you more if they wanted to. Okay. Um, what's going on with your person or maybe even with the both of you? Self-awareness. Self-awareness is sexy. Okay. Let's make it sexy. Let's hashtag that. Self-awareness is sexy. Um, it's the experience of one's own personality or individuality. So Aquarius, so it's going to, you know, resonate different for you. You don't understand how people perceive you. You don't understand how people, um, you know, put you, I heard Richter scale. I don't know. You don't understand how they scale you or how they, um, how they, uh, rate you. You don't understand that. Okay. You don't understand your rating. You don't understand how either high or low someone has rated you. Um, you aren't really acting in a whole bunch of self-awareness because you're a masculine energy. So you're always giving by, by, by nature. It's your nature to give, to put out, to make it happen, to institute, to drive forth, you know, to protect, to provide, even if you are a woman by nature, it's your, you know, it's kind of like your own default in regards to just giving, giving, giving. Therefore, sometimes it's, it's hard for you to sit with yourself and really experience yourself for your person. They're unaware completely self-awareness. They lack it. And they don't really want to kind of dig deep in regards to how other people perceive them, how other people take on their personality or their persona. This person has a distorted mindset in regards to how people perceive them. They may think that everybody just loves them. They may think that they are just a, a great giver. They give to every situation. This is distortion. This is delusion. This is the lies that they tell themselves so that they can keep up with the bad behavior, um, the bad attitude, just bad altogether. They don't have to change anything or evolve. Okay. So this person doesn't have to evolve because they rest in delusion. Everybody likes me. I'm likable. I'm beautiful. I'm handsome. I have money. Um, I'm powerful. I have power. People call on me. People come to me, you know, they kind of, experience themselves by what they, what they're being asked of or what they can give to a situation by way of power, by, by maintaining the power I'll give to a situation, but I'm only giving because it shows that I'm powerful or that I have, and I want everyone to know that I have, this could be a very materialistic person that you're dealing with Aquarius, whether it is, they have a lot of materials, money, house, car, whatever to give or they just have a lot of power or they walk in the room and they have a lot of muscles or they have this or they have that, or they're very beautiful. People kind of, um, cower down to them and just do what they want them to do. Or they get the flick of their hair, um, or the batting of their eyes. They get what they want. Um, this is somebody who's just unaware of how other people are perceiving them. They're unaware of how they're coming off in relationship, interpersonal, you know, um, interpersonal, uh, I can't even think of the word, but interpersonal, um, affairs. They don't know how they come off in relationships and they don't care. All they know is, uh, what they think they know or what they, what they are perceiving is a uh, truth. Okay. And, and it's, you know, it's kind of the same for you, but yours is a bit different in terms of you're not really grasping the magnitude of maybe how great you are. Let's talk about it because what's going on between the two of you right now is the strength card. So your person could want forgiveness that they want you to treat them compassionately. We see that already. Like, um, will he just take me back already? You used to you, everybody else does. This person could even want you to come to them. Um, 
the strength card going on between the two of you, there is a holding back because the both of you just don't trust each other. You don't trust your feelings. You don't trust to be vulnerable, open, close with one another um, because open and closeness has gotten you hurt. You've hurt each other, uh, whether it was known or unknown. Um, it's just lack of trust here. Um, so someone's being strong and holding back, holding back out of fear um, of being hurt or being shunned or not getting the compassion that they feel they deserve. This could be you, it could be the other person, it could be mutual, mutual holding back. I'm not coming towards you, you don't come towards me, but I want forgiveness and possibly reconciliation, but I'm not coming towards you and uh, I know you're not coming towards me. So it is um, both people in respective corners. You both could even be dating other people or going on dates or just enjoying life. Um, you both are kind of like conserving yourself or reserving yourself. You know, you're reserving your feelings for, you're not showing your hand. Um, this is emotional, um, intellect also a high level of uh, emotional intellect. You just know that you can't show this person a lot of emotion, um, because you give them an inch, they'll take a mile, uh, you know, or it will, it will spiral into something you're not ready for and you don't trust. This person feels kind of the same way. Like, okay, if I show Aquarius how I feel, that then I come off weak or they have the power, they have power over me. This is, they're looking at it in an adverse way. Um, you both could not be having sex with one another, but you could be having sex with other people. You both have built a wall up in regards to one another. It's just so much lack of trust. They don't trust you for your for their own reasons. You don't trust them for yours. It might be that this person doesn't trust you because you have said harsh words, harsh things to this person. And vice versa, you don't trust them because they have done harsh things to you or um, really uh, put you in a place of uh, not knowing where you stand with them. Why can't this person get over you? They can't get over you. The first card came out was the the uh, six of pentacles. They can't in the reverse. They can't get over you because they can't get over the fact that they didn't give to the queen of pentacles. That's you, Aquarius. Back to let's kind of jump back and forth. Back to Aquarius, you're not understanding your or your, the experience that you're giving in terms of your personality and your individuality. You don't understand that you have high worth. Now you may say, yes, I do. I understand that I'm a, you know, I'm wifey. I can meet it. You know, no, you don't really understand the magnitude. Cause I got Richter scale. You don't understand the magnitude of you, your personality, what you give to every situation, especially love. Some people haven't been loved like you have loved. They will never be loved like you have loved Aquarius, like you have loved them. Um, this person, you don't understand how individual you are, how, how you, how set apart you are. You are the star card. So the star is up in the sky. Um, the ram, the bull, uh, and almost everything else is kind of earthly it's it, or it's in the earth or um or it's out of worldly or it's fictional you know but you are you are real you are a star you're also set apart you're also and that could come in regards to your you being ex eccentric you have an uh, uh, you know an extreme level of individuality you're not afraid to lean into that um you don't understand how people perceive you and your personality. And you don't understand what it means when you take all of that away, because this person is now at in the six of pentacles in reverse. They feel powerless upright. is the power dynamic, having power, yielding power, having wealth, wealth is more than money. Maybe you did give money to this person. 
Maybe, um, yeah, maybe they're in a place where they need, okay? They need money. They need whatever. But um, you don't under, you didn't you really don't understand what you meant to this person. You were loving. You were doting. You were nurturing. You were caring. You had your shit together. You looked good. You take care of yourself. You were about health and healthy type of connections. If you weren't like some health super health conscious person, you were just about the health of maybe the relationship. Are you good? Are, is everything good? Um, maybe you you would check in. You checked in, or you checked in on this person. Maybe when they weren't good to their self, you were good to them. It's it's almost making me want to cry. This person is really, um, and it's not your energy, Aquarius. It's the other person because they're coming in inverted. The six of Pentacles in in, in reverse. They just can't. They can't get over the fact that they they fumble the ball, the opportunity with the queen of pentacles. So the pentacles is the suit that we all want to get to. It's the last suit. It's the manifestation of. So you were their perfect person. You were the manifestation of. This is the embodiment of the empress, okay? Because the empress is a major arcana, so it's an archetype. But this is a real person. What they are, um, why they can't get over you is because they're realizing they fumbled the ball with a real person, their real dream person with their wife or their husband uh, figure. This was a person that they couldn't really have long term stability, uh, longevity with. If you've got Capricorn in your chart, this could definitely resonate with you. Um, this person just really felt like they really feel they can't get over you because they also didn't give to the situation. They just didn't give. They chose to not give. The sixes are about choices. Okay. They chose to not give. So maybe they were giving somewhere else. Maybe they were, you know, uh, taking everything that you were giving and trying to manifest somewhere else when they had what they really needed and wanted right in front of them. They didn't see the, your value. For some of you, you don't see your value. Okay. You didn't see the magnitude back to Richter scale. That is how you measure, uh, um, uh, 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 um, y'all know earthquake. So it's like you shook them up or you shake people's lives up. You are the water bearer. You, you bring life, life source, water to people, something that they, we all need. Right. So it's like you, you shook their world, whether they told you or not, you meant a lot or you mean a lot to this person. Um, and you need to always be acting in self-awareness and understand, you know, you need to really understand what you're token. I'm getting token. Like you're the one or you, or um, you need to understand your own magnitude. You need to understand um, how great you are, what you really bring to the situation. This person may have kind of beaten you down with their words and their actions where they made you feel like you were less than. And sometimes people do that when they know that they can't live up to they can't live up to your standard. They can't be what you need them to be. They can't be like you. So let me tear down. So you might haven't even been dealing with somebody who tore you down, Aquarius. But this is how they really viewed you, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so this is why they can't get over you. They also can't get over you because, um, so for one, they didn't give to you. They didn't reciprocate. So it is driving them crazy. This is karma also that they amassed for themselves. They're going to have to work that off. Okay. They can't get over you because of the will of fortune. Again, back to like, um, completely shifting like someone's life and changing the will talks about change. They talk, they can't get over you because they know that you were a high level soulmate or whatever. You were the one, um, it may have been love at first sight or at least lust at first sight. Um, they can't get over you because you change their dynamic or their life or um, you open their eyes to the, they also can't get over you maybe because you, you have like psychic inclination and maybe they know that about you. Or they know that the feeling is strong between the two of you. Also something about change and the dynamic of change um, that it was destined for you two to meet. It was fate and they fumbled you. They fumbled the relationship. It was destined to meet you. It was destined to reciprocate with you. They didn't do it. They knew they had everything right in front of them, the queen of pentacles. But let me treat the queen of pentacles or the king of pentacles like shit. Like they didn't matter. Like they really weren't the one. 
like um, I'm driving the bus and uh, Aquarius is in the back of the bus. No, Aquarius was always driving the bus and they just allowed you to come on, come on to the bus. But Aquarius, you have to always keep in mind, you are driving the bus. You're not riding in the back seat. They're not allowing you to hitch a ride with them. No, you're the driver of this whole situation. That's the magnitude of you and your personality and what God has placed in you. And this happens even with circles of friends. Also, when you leave, it's felt back to Richter scale. You're like an earthquake. You shake things up. You shake people up for the good, for the better. They can either choose to ascend, go higher, or they choose to stay there or, or maybe even descend and try to take you with them. But all in all, they know your true value. They know you're the queen of pentacles or the king of pentacles, okay? Why you can't get over your ex, the devil card. Let's talk about it, Aquarius. You might can't get over your ex because you understand that you and your person, you can't get over this person because it's like shifting of blame also. Shifting of the blame that leaves nowhere, you know, like, well, they're the toxic one. They're the drama filled one. I'm the great one. I'm the, the, uh, star seed and the, uh, moon child and the earth angel. And I'm so great, but you only attract, you know, what is inside of you. So there may have been something that was unhealed within you. So you had to, you, you came together for a reason. The reason why you can't get over, um, maybe this person or they can't, this is for you that you can't get over them. It's because you both were seeking love, but it, 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 it turned into like, but it seemed like you both were enemy of one another, you know, because of the deep seated issues on both parties. And it just made the relationship toxic. This also talks about not being able to recognize the reason behind meeting said individual. The devil, Capricorn, Saturn, Satan, or trials, struggles, pain, conflicts, lesson, sex, and aggression here. So it's just like you can't get over this because you haven't really learned the lesson as to why you met this person. You should be able to, on call, write down five reasons as to why you met this person and then five reasons in regards to why it made you better in terms of meeting this person or this toxic relationship. If you cannot do that, you have not learned lesson. You can't get over a person. You can't get over the relationship and you keep just shifting the blame to them. It was them. It wasn't me. I showed up great. I showed up honest. I showed up. Okay. So something in you is wrong. Yeah. Your issue ain't going to be the same as theirs. But you got to kind of figure it out. Why? Why, 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 why? Ask spirit. Y'all ask spirit everything else. Ask that. Why you met this person? This also could have been escapism. Maybe you like, you know, walking on the dark side, you know, now and again. You see, you can't get over them. Maybe keep them around or you want them around. Or would you want to escape into, you know, fun and playfulness and childishness? And then you want to run back to you know, reality, realism, um, being upright. That's duality. It says duality before spirituality. So you're going to have to wrestle with that on your own. But it's like Aquarius, you can't get over this person because you haven't gone up the staircase of going into the brain and really unlocking as to why you met this person. Okay. You can't just say, oh, they were toxic. So that means that maybe everybody you're going to meet is toxic, right? Or every failed relationship is because they were toxic. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Oh, super, super toxic. Well, why do you keep meeting toxic people? I don't want to talk about it. Um, you know, some of you are just in that energy. Like you, you have to really drill down on this so you can get the lesson. You can move on. Um. You also were trying to like be somebody's God. You know, this person was kind of, or the God complex. It wasn't like you were trying to be God over them. No, no, no. You knew this person was like in base consciousness, like lower vibration. It was like, well, I'm higher and I'm ascended or I'm ascending and I'm better. You know, you know, I've got awareness or enlightenment. Maybe I can bring them with me. Who told you to do that? 
right. Yep. No one. You gotta, you gotta recognize so you can move on so that you don't find the same thing, different face. Recognize, gain wisdom. And some of you are refusing to do that because then if you have to take accountability, then it's almost like you have to displace all of that uh, accountability on them. You have to put some of it on you. Um, you don't want to do that. It could even be, it could even feel like you have to forgive this person. And how could you forgive them? But you're going to have to forgive them for they know not what they do. They're extremely unaware of themselves. Okay. They do not have self-awareness. And back to what um, the uh, meditation said, identify who you're connecting with, define their character and then nothing they ever do or say will upset you or surprise you. You might need to look up your birth chart. And it, this might have been a destined. Your, your, your person feels like it was a destined meeting for whatever reason. It could have just been that you need to work off this karma. Because the devil card also talks about souls that need to come together. Souls that come together because um they need cleansing. So you meet this person, right? And it's like all out war you just don't understand why they're so enemy of you or you enemy of them or it's just both enemy it's like a butting of heads it's because the universe said meet this person so you can really meet you aquarius so you can really find out about you so you can heal you so you can dig deep into you 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 this is a mirror into you it's not even about the person it was you some of you this uh, relationship may have brought you to spirituality. I mean, it was so toxic, so karmic, so this, so that, that you was like, I got to find something to, to make sense of this shit. And maybe that was the reason. That, that's the reason why you met this person. Yeah, Mars, action. So take action. There's a lot of desire in this relationship here. Um, a lot of force, strength, competition, competing goals, competing wills. It could have been a very sexual relationship. And maybe some of you are trying to transpose the fact that, oh, we have great sex. Somebody was trying to equate it to love, um, desire or passion. Uranus, that's your ruler, revolution. Yeah, it came in your life too, so that you could have a breakthrough, so that you can brainstorm as to why you met and what for and come into awakening. Very nice and reform, freedom, surprise, right? So Aquarius, don't count it all bad. Count it joy that you met this person, right? Um, maybe even this person, back to psychic abilities, ESP, psychic abilities, the cosmos, um, source, the unnameable shadow work. And that's what you needed to do, Aquarius, in regards to meeting this person. They need to do it too. But, you know, if they're not wanting to do that, it is what it is. Fourth house, it was about you uh, maybe digging deep into your background, family, uh, where you're comfortable. You might have been comfortable in turbulent, drama-filled relationships because that's what your background was. It was habitual for you to be in something or with someone who um, it was always a struggle or um, a problem. Okay? Um, yeah, this relationship came into your life too kind of um, take you to a place of uh, moving forward. So again, count it all joy. Send that person a thank you. Don't, yeah, my, they might interpret it the wrong way. Don't even do it. Let's see what else do we want to tell Aquarius and then we're going to get out of here. Um, you've, you're coming out of uh, maybe feeling embarrassed for giving your love to this person because um, you have people laughing at me this relationship is over. It's in reverse. So it's like you, it's no, you're, you're coming into an understanding as to why, or you need to, you don't need to feel embarrassed or, um, or, or kind of, um, beat yourself up for being you, for being vulnerable, for being open, loving to this person. Um, in reverse, I financially support you. So I'm going to do what I want. You've come out of somebody's rule. Maybe somebody had like, Oh, rule over you 
you know, that's, that's not happening anymore. Back to power. Yeah. Somebody wanted, when you left Aquarius, if you have left, you took power from this person. The relationship was off and on. It was hot and cold. Um, it was a war between the two of you. You may have had no boundaries and that was your root chakra, you know, or uh, sorry, your solar plexus. Um, that, that's not the answer. You don't need to not have boundaries. And this is why this person is in the energy of, will you just take me back already? Because this is what you maybe normally what you used to do. Release your negative thoughts. Um, it's in reverse the crown chakra. So it's like maybe you're now releasing negativity or negative thoughts in regards to the, the relationship. You're coming into an understanding of why you're coming into an understanding of everything is happening like it's supposed to, or you need to. Some of you could have been dealing with the Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra. Um, I think of you intensely so you'll feel me. It's in reverse. This person may be trying to pull you back in, but they can't penetrate the wall that you put up with the strength card. You may have moved on this person, got a new home, and you just saged it. This also could be new love or new lease on life for yourself, you know, and you just don't want any negativity. What else is going on for Aquarius? What else is happening here? So hopefully this helps you realize why they keep showing up in your dreams or why they can't get over you. Um, your cleanliness isn't up to par. Um, I'm hearing this could even be sexual. Like maybe you feel like this person sleeps around with anybody. Um, they have a messy home. If it's not that it's nasty. Now we know what nasty is. Nasty would be you know, dishes in the sink for months or, you know, food wrappers on the floor for months, you know, that's going to be nasty because that's going to draw bugs and, and vermin, but they could just be junky, you know, um, things everywhere. Nothing is put up It's chaos. And that is most times that's indicative of how somebody's mind is working. It's chaotic, right? And, and, when somebody's cleanliness isn't up to par, it also can be indicative of like, um, f familiar spirits or, or maybe even demon. You can go as far to say demon possessed. I don't think you have to be possessed, but you definitely, you know, are you, you're open to, to darkness or darkness can rest with you because you think about those scary movies or those demon possessed movies or, or movies about demons. Every time they find the demon or they think the demon is in the home, there's always what well, firstly, like a bad smell, right? It, de it doesn't smell like roses and potpourri and, you know, um, really nice candles lit. No, it's a bad smell. So sometimes you have to, you can kind of couple uncleanliness and bad smells with, maybe e even maybe a chaotic mind, just no law, no order with this person, which, you know, demon can rest there. It's, it's junky. It's nasty. It's all over the place. But when you operate in order, cleanliness, I put this here, I put that there, you know, it's hard for demons to kind of be in that energy that would upset them. You know, they have nowhere to hide or they have nowhere to feel comfortable in. Okay. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Uncleanliness is next to, okay, there we go. So, um, this could even be indicative of, you knowing that somebody is just doesn't have that godlike quality or they haven't really top tapped into it. Um, with the devil card coming out. Um, this could also be in regards to sexuality. You just feel like, or they don't, they just, they're too loose in regards to, um, who they have sex with. You could be saying, or this person could be trying to manipulate you and say, if you move on, so will I, they won't. Um, yeah. The, the universe is saying, protect yourself, burn your candles and wear your crystals, put your crystals on your person, on you. Um, because you do have this person trying to resurface, come back, may even, even have old friends or acquaintance trying to come back. Um, can't make it up. Your love disrupted my loveless life. We talked about Richter scale, earthquake, you being like that to people, Aquarius. 
women fall in love in the presence of and men fall in love in the absence of. So women fall in love in the everyday and the, the constant doing. I talk to him every day. I see him every other day or every day. I, we're going here. We're going dancing. We're going to a concert. Women fall in love in the presence of. So we need, you know, constant, you know, communication, validation. Men sometimes find that they're in love in the absence of, oh, I haven't seen her today. I didn't hear from her or she shut me out or she cut me off. This might be love. It's just different, you know. Somebody feels like this is a match made in heaven. Um, or they could be trying to come back to you and say that. Uh, this came out in reverse. I dream of a life with you. So maybe you used to feel that way, Aquarius. Or maybe the other person felt that way. They don't feel that way anymore. They don't dream of a life with you. Or you don't dream of a life with them. It is what it is. It's done. Um, you just don't see it happening. You can't see it happening. This might have been a match made in heaven. So this could have been your twin flame, life partner, soulmate, but then it turned karmic with the devil card back here. It turned toxic, unhealthy, toxic, which is just unhealthy guys. It just turned unhealthy for both parties. Okay. Um, let's get you some future energy. What's happening in the future for Aquarius. So I hope this is really blessing you in regards to the decisions, the cuts you need to make, what you need to do, how you need to move. You just need to learn a lesson, move on for some of you. It is not to go back and get, it is not to go back and tell the person, you need to learn a lesson too. Nope. Who told you to do that? Every time you feel like you want to take on that complex, that God complex, ask yourself, who told you to do that? I do it to myself. I'm like, oh, oh who told you to do that? And there, and, and then I course correct. Sometimes you need to course correct, correct yourself. That's not where you should be. That's not what you should be doing. Who told you to do that? In the future, what do we have for Aquarius? Imprisonment. Again, this person's not going to get over you. They can't get over you. Somebody could be going to actual jail um, or this could be locked in their mind. You know, you have the key to come and unlock them. They also could be waiting for you to reach out to them, Aquarius. Um, it's a no, it's a no. Yeah, they're waiting. They may even give you like a small token of appreciation. Uh, that's a token. Mm. You are the one, Aquarius. You may have been the only one, okay? Um, they may want to start something with you. They're going to start small or there's like a page of cups type of message. Oh, hi, how are you? You look nice. I miss you. I saw you on, you know, whatever. Um, you may have a child between the two of you also maybe a young child or you're having a child or you have a child so that kind of binds you there um again somebody wants to come out of estrangement with you out of um not being around you um so they they may make the first move it's something small this person also may even feel like you're in the complex of having the power or you being big and them being small you know um let's see what's going on here in the near future for Aquarius. I can't make it up a message. This talks about in, in about seven days. You know, it could be seven weeks, but it talks about seven days. Um, yeah, it's a yes for you. It's gonna come. It's a good news message. Now it could come from this person. It could come from something or someone that you're waiting for. Um, it could be an approval. It could just be a message. It's good news though, or it's good things. Um, it's a good vibration. Uh, what else is happening for the Aquarius? In the near future you might meet somebody new um, also in the near future especially if you're a healed individual if you just got out of something yesterday last week two months ago two weeks ago please take time for yourself if somebody new coming in doesn't even need to come out of your mouth mature man okay yeah you might meet someone who is mature well accomplished maybe even well traveled um, they could be older than you um, they could come into your life um, and stir things up. Um, they could also come into your life and, and bring a lot of regimen, rule, order, traditionalism. What, what's going on? Poverty. This might be a person from the past, though. I'm wanting to come out of maybe not being able to talk to you, see you, hang out with you, um, celebrate with you, whatever it may be. Um, what else? The near future for 
somebody also may need your help is what I'm getting. Okay. What's going on for Aquarius in the near future? What's going on for Aquarius in the privileged lady? That's what I'm talking about. Somebody may need your help because you are the privileged lady or the privileged man here. You're the mature man. You're the privileged lady. You have it going your way. Life is going your way. You know, things are working out for you. You've done the work. You, um, you have more than enough. It's like the nine of pentacles type of energy. That's what's coming towards you. Some of you, this could be a woman coming towards you. She is privileged. She has a, you know, she's, she's good. Okay. This one to flip out in reverse, um, distant horizon in reverse. This person, oh shoot. Whomever this is. Let me see. Is this new or old? Could be somebody new. Could be somebody old coming back to you, Aquarius. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Um, you were. All right, so... This could be somebody making their way around to you, coming back to you, trying to recover a relationship, um, doing the most or doing something big to try to win you over or win you back. If you do start up with this person, it could progress to nothing. Like there's no progression. It's just going to be a new start here. You could also have money coming to you, Aquarius, maybe by starting something new, a new career, new business, new job. Um, yeah, somebody still doesn't have that God like quality, you know, um, shining through them. Somebody is still very materialistic. Somebody can see you on um, social media. They want to be a part of whatever it is you're doing. Someone could be coming in and trying to take from you. Okay. Um, somebody's apprehensive about, um, commitment. Okay. They don't really know if they should do it. They're not, they're a little bit fearful of it. But they don't want to lose what they have. Yeah, nine of wands. This is somebody who's just, you know, that they're standoffish when it comes to commitment and vulnerability and being open and expressing themselves and just intimacy. They don't, you know, they'll have sex with you all day, but to be intimate with you, to really let you in into their life, they're fearful of it. This could be by way of past relationship, though. They're not over something that happened in their past, needing to get over it, needing to move forward, needing to learn lesson of past, needing to heal. Somebody is unhealed, but they're still out having connections, still having carefree connection. This is what this is. This could be you, Aquarius. This is an Aquarius card. It could be another person. Um, you, you're going to have a new encounter or, or an encounter for a new sexual experience, but it may just be, you know, whatever that is. It, yep. Three of swords, ace of wands, can't make this stuff up. So you can have a new person come into your life, but it could end the same way. The other relationship end, miscommunication, misrepresentation. There could be even somebody trying to come into your life and misrepresent what it is they, they offering or they're offering. It may be nothing, a whole lot of nothing, a third party situation. Um, it could be that they're in the midst of getting a divorce, but they aren't really divorced. Um, they have other people or they're still stuck somewhere or heartbreak or heartache still rests with them. They haven't really dealt with it, but they want to have a connection with you. This could be you, Aquarius. Take time to heal. Take time to heal. Take time to heal. Step back. Take time to heal. It's like somebody just don't want to heal or they don't know how to heal. Somebody can, you know, deal with the fact that, um, you know, they chose to give love to the wrong person. They need to face it and then fix it. This could be you, Aquarius. Could be the other person. It could be the both of you. It can. It could resonate. It could resonate differently for you. You chose to give your love to the wrong person. You need to face it and then fix it. Stop trying to fix the relationship. Fix you. Why did you give love to this person? And then the other person may have chosen someone over you because they didn't have them choosing to not reciprocate with you. They need to face the fact that, or face the music that they chose wrongly. Yes, yeah, so deciding to accept the BS relationship. I give in. Somebody wants you to either do that or you are doing that. Because we do have 
will you just take me back already? Jeez. So somebody could, there's no right or wrong here. You can live your life how you want to, Aquarius, and no one should shame you for that. Um, this is just a, a reading to give you insight in regards to what's going on um, for you to make better decisions. We talked about that, but you can do whatever you want to do. Um, just know who and what you're dealing with. And that's what the universe wanted you to know, okay? It wanted you to know. Um, let's read it one more time and then we close. Identify who you're connecting with. Define their character. And then nothing they ever do or say will upset you or surprise you. Get your birth chart um, pulled. That's coming up. That is That will be a service. I'll have that up very soon where we can um, drill down on your birth chart. You can see where, you know, in your life, it's significant, or a relationship uh, in a certain time in your life will be significant, or if this relationship is significant. Now, significance doesn't mean that it's destined, it's gonna happen, you're gonna run off into the sunset. It just means that it was significant for whatever reason, maybe to open you up to spirituality so that you can have a story. Maybe it was to shape your character for you to find yourself, I don't know. So um, this is what's going on, Aquarius. I hope it gave you some clarity so you can make better decisions so that you can move forward, so that you can stand in your power. If you feel like you want your reading done just like this, you can get your reading uh, at the website level. Uh, readings are 40% off, 40 OFF. So you're gonna use code 40 OFF at checkout. If you're a business-minded individual and you want to connect with other uh, business individuals, go ahead and sign up for the KTMG waitlist. It's the monthly conference call that we get on and we talk about um, business, uh, how to either start further or uh, continue, come out of a rut in terms of your business. We use practical and spiritual method, so get involved in that, okay? And if you feel like you took something from this reading, you stay here this long, you could buy me a coffee. Yep, the link is below. Um, if you're feeling moved to do so, it says buy Ella coffee. And I want to shout out to New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, Denver, London, Houston, Atlanta, Florida, Missouri, and Philadelphia. Those are places where I have high viewership. Okay, let me know where you're viewing from, okay? Uh, go ahead and type that down in the comment section. Um, Let's all manifest together. Okay, let's type down in the comment section, uh, lesson. So hashtag lesson, okay? We're gonna learn this lesson here and we're gonna move on, okay? Uh, whether with this person or without, but lesson, hashtag lesson, okay? If you've learned the lesson, type it down below, okay? If you're learning the lesson, still type it down below. Let's manifest together collectively, okay? Many blessings to you, Aquarius. Take care.